Okay, I'm out on the patio. That's our new iron door so that we can leave it open all the time and not worry about security. Here's uh, a palm. I'll come over here and show you the bloom on the plumeria. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, this wall, then some sons of area. I love this grass. And there's our umbrella plant. This plant, you can only see one bloom on it, but that's called a shrimp plant. Here's the alamanda. It's hanging over the wall. This plumbago. There we go. I forgot its name already. Oleander, sorry. Really pretty. Here's our star palm. In the middle here, see this palm? It's called a triangle palm because of the base. I would love that thing. Okay, there's our chairs. So you can see that our orchid tree is almost done blooming and it loses its leaves when it's done and then they'll all come back. So there's our poinsettia from Christmas still blooming. And this in front is star jasmine. And after it's done blooming, this is our desert rose. And it does this crazy thing at the end of each blooming cycle, but that's the way it is. I love the base on that thing. And our bananas. There's the bananas. Ooh. Now here's a ginger. Isn't this pretty? And here's a datura. It's not blooming right now. We had like seven or eight blooms on it for quite a long time. And a palm and another oleander back there. And a handkerchief plant. I love that thing. Next to the handkerchief plant is a lime a lime tree or lemon tree and grapefruit tree. And there's our uh, rosemary. And there's a eucalyptus. This big pot. And back to our main door. Here's our central courtyard. We just had the palm tree trimmed. So you can come over here, Wendy or Suki, and lay in that hammock and look up into the palm tree. So, here we go. I really like these guys. What is that? Uh, oh, I forgot the name. Oh well. Big elephant ears. Anthurium, that's what they're called. I have another one here. Hibiscus. There's a ginger, a variegated ginger. More hibiscus. Now this is our um, traveler palm. It's really doing great. It's got some blooms. I'll show you on the back. Don't know why it blooms on the back. Can you see those? I think they're cool. Another palm, that's a gardenia. It's got one blossom on it. You can see the blossom in there. Okay. That's it. I'll show you the backyard next. Okay, there's our fountain. Now we're walking to the back. And those are our new doors. Walking to the backyard. You can see my dough rising in the oven over there. Okay, so we're out here. Oh, there's a desert rose. There's our birds. Might be too dark right there. That's Lefty and Poncho. Here's my fig tree. There's some figs on it. There's one that's getting brown, so. Then here's our cactus with one blossom on it. It's cute. Now this is the wrought iron 
that we used to have in our um, between our sala fresca and the courtyard that we had them put out here so that it kind of hides the bodega stuff. And we planted on there, uh, um, oh, what is that? Gosh, I'm just not remembering anything today. Anyway, um, passion flower. Hasn't bloomed yet. There's bird of paradise. So let's see. Oh, Suki, I was going to show you these. This is that plant that I was saying made its babies on the end of the leaves. I love that. So here's our hanging hammock or hanging chair. You sit in it on this side and bounce up and down and sit. Here's our seating area. I knit right there. Here's our bamboo. So and here's some heliconia. It's a kind of ginger that I divided. They have really pretty orange blossoms and they're not looking too happy. But that's half of them. The other half is over there. And Wendy, this right here in the pot looking a little unhappy is that purple flower plant. The princess something or other. So I'm trying to make it happy now. But it's not very happy. Hibiscus, some cannas, bougainvillea. You can see more bougainvillea up on the wall there.